No, fine, thank you. Uh, well, thank you for coming around, sir. Um, please, uh, I would love you to introduce yourself and um, take the stage from here. Thank you. All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, highly honored uh, being on this space with you guys tonight. Uh, my name is uh, Hassan Ibrahim Akuride. I am from the University of Learning. I'm a civil engineering primary level student. And though uh, all the speakers that have spoken earlier have uh, talked on all, almost, in fact, all the important things you need to know about getting undergraduate scholarships and even postgraduate scholarships. So basically, I won't be spending uh, much time. I will just be probably summarizing what they've said and uh, adding one or two things. So basically, uh, I noticed that, okay, a lot of scholars are spoken on uh, national and international scholarships. Yeah. Uh, like me, okay, I am a scholar of, I'm a multiple scholars. I'm a multiple scholar of a lot of scholarships. And yeah, majorly, I think I even got more of local scholarships than national scholarships. Yeah. So I'm well aware that a lot of students here might not be aware of what local scholarships are or uh, they might not, they might have not even heard of local scholarships before. So basically, local scholarships are scholarships that are meant for a particular origin or just a particular geographical uh, area or a community. So and is mostly funded by uh, non-governmental organizations, like uh, like your national scholarships are, are mostly funded by uh, governmental organizations and even well some oil companies and all. Like that. So local scholarships include uh, your bursaries, uh, some senatorial scholarships, like uh, you have Tayo Yitibo scholarships and some scholarships like that. I think we have this Alex Oti scholarship for Abia State uh, indigenous and residents. We have some scholarships that are just meant for legal state origins. We have scholarships for Kogi State uh, indigenous. And like that, like that, there are a lot of local scholarships. So uh, a lot of people do, you know, when you are not aware of these scholarships, then you won't even try to uh, look for them. So, and I think local, local scholarships are one of the most easiest scholarships and uh, they are one of the scholarships that you can easily get without even stressing yourself. Most of them don't require you writing examinations. Uh, you just need to probably attend interview. After, well, I think the major thing you need to get uh, a local scholarship is just your uh, CGP. Yeah, like most scholar, uh, like most uh, speakers here have spoken today that your CGP is very, very important. Yeah, your CGP is very, 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 very important. Uh, the importance of CGP in scholarship application cannot be emphasized. So basically, uh, if you are seeing your year one, year two, I would advise you to work really hard on your CGP. Yeah, you should work really hard on your CGP because uh, once you leave your year one, year two, though you can also you can actually build it, but at least it might be a little bit difficult. So yeah, having a very strong CGP is a very good edge for you in applying for scholarships. Uh, so basically, uh, these local scholarships you should actually look forward to them and try as much as possible to uh, get in as much as possible you can because there are scholarships that they don't even restrict you to getting more than one you know most national scholarship will be like hey, hey have you gotten is uh a scholarship before so once you tell them uh, yes they will not want to award you again because they know that okay this particular person is okay and we have a lot of people that are still looking for scholarships so why not give it to those people and uh leave you already as one already so uh local scholarships are very 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 important and most of them pay above 100k so that you can lay your hands and look forward to getting them basically. And uh, also, uh, from the list of uh, stuff I have here today, uh, let me see. The question here is uh, what are some of the uh, what are some of the most common types of scholarship available to university students in Nigeria and beyond? Basically, I, I think a lot of scholars here have spoken on the scholarship you have. In Nigeria today, yeah, like SNEPCO, PCDF, and all. So you can always watch out for them. And uh, how can a university student best prepare themselves for competitive candidates uh, scholarship? Basically, 
uh, in order for you to win competitive exams, like Agbami, and you remember writing Agbami exam, I think that was just, okay, yeah, yeah I wrote Agbami exam. I did not, I was, I, I didn't, okay. Okay, I wrote Chevron too, actually, I wrote Chevron. So these scholarships are very, very competitive. We have a lot of students that are planning to get them and they, are just, they just want to give it to like 100, 200 students in the nation. So basically they are very, very competitive and your CGPA is not even uh, a criteria again because now you'll be writing an exam. So the examination score will basically uh, be the determination criteria for those who will get the scholarship and those who won't. So basically, uh, in order to prepare for this scholarship, then I think I use some uh, apps that I don't downloaded on Play Store yeah, in order to improve my speed. Because these apps, they have time. You can actually uh, try as much as possible to work with them. Uh, yeah, when you work with those apps, you be able to, you, there are a lot of questions on those apps that have been programmed by uh, some people. So, yeah, these questions will actually help you and also ace your speed when you get to these uh, scholarship examination centers. And also, um, what advice would I give to students who are looking to apply for scholarships but are not sure where to start from? Well, for me, I uh, actually got to know about scholarship from uh, maybe one of my friends like that when I was in Andrew the I think I was already going to tell him. Yeah, so then uh, we just applied. That was pretty day, actually. We just applied and we were like, ah, let's just apply. And at the end of the day, they started shortlisting and all like that. We started following up the process, like, okay, submit your transcripts and all. And also one thing you should note is that as I, I can remember not getting uh a mail to write naoc examination scholarship examination because then i was not oriented at all i don't even know i don't even know scholarship i don't know. okay just just apply yeah basically but it's not just you applying but rather you should actually apply very well then you know yeah we were, we were just in other level so you you might not really be using a good phone then so i just snapped my documents in a very dark environment and i uploaded them Unfortunately, those who did not shortlist me, and I was like, ah. there was one of my friends that they shortlisted. I had a very uh, high grade, and I was like, okay, what's happening? What could have caused me not to uh, be shortlisted for this exam? Then I found out, that, okay, probably my documents, that, uh, the document I uploaded for the scholarship was the one that probably uh, uh, yeah, reduced my chance of getting that scholarship. So basically, whenever you're trying to apply for scholarship, make sure that your documents and uh, probably when you're, when you're to write essays, make sure that you are doing the right thing and yeah, you are able to review what you uh, what you want to submit, basically. So, um, okay. How important is academic excellence when it comes to obtaining scholarship? Yeah, that cannot be overemphasized. Like I said, and many other scholars have also uh, buttressed that your CGPA is very, very, very important, not only at your undergraduate level, and also it's uh, moved uh towards your postgraduate level too your cgp is very 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 important although it's not everything but yeah if you can actually attain a very good cgp then you should yeah so are there any other criteria beyond academic excellence that scholarship providers consider when they select recipients yes yeah, true for ptdf scholarships now scholarship we have them using other criteria it's not just your academic or uh not just based on merit, yeah, like, and also FSB now, I also know that FSB makes use of, um, like, states, a state of origin, yeah, so they might actually select people, uh, like, maximum of, let's say, 10 or like, maximum of 20 students per state, so you might actually see somebody with 3.6 CGPA from, let's say, uh, Taraba State, and you with uh, 4.8 CGPA, from let's say Ogun State, and you might not get scholarship. But you may be wondering like, what happened. We did not even write exam. It's just uh, our CGP. So how come this particular person got selected and I wasn't? So basically, there are other criteria in which this scholarship board is used to screen students, not just your academic uh, background, not just your academic excellence. Yeah. So, can I recommend? Any resources or organization that students can turn to for help with scholarship application? Well, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
So I'm moving to the next one. Are there any particular challenges that students from Nigeria face when it comes to assistance scholarship? If so, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, this particular problem is a lot of students don't and they are not aware of scholarship, and some even believe that scholarship is scam, and that's very weird because okay, you, you know, we have a lot of folks that are making millions per year in with scholarship and even invest this money in some kind of business, and yes, you see some average right now that is worth millions, like about more than 30 million euro. Yeah, so basically it's not just when I hear people saying, okay, scholarship is scam, scholarship is this, I'm like, okay. Okay, so basically, these people, they don't understand and they are not well oriented about these things. So uh, I think the major problem uh, people are actually facing is knowing about that, okay, well, scholarship is, they are not actually scams. Scholarships are real. And people will make a lot of money from the scholarship. Yeah, basically. So, uh, and some students even have this inferiority complaint that uh, I don't think... Uh, I can compete with this other student probably because they have I, no 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 you should always try your very best in doing anything you want to do in life you should never uh, at first just be like okay I don't think I can do it you saying or you thinking you cannot do it definitely you will not do it so always giving your best wherever you do uh, that would be my advice for that and uh, finally what message do I have for university students who may be discouraged by the difficulty of obtaining scholarships and how they can be motivated in their search. Well, some students will come to you and they'll be like, okay, I've applied for like 10 scholarships and I've not even gotten one out of everything. Uh, I don't know. It's, 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 it's really difficult to actually, you know, uh, but to me, I don't know. I don't know. Probably they are not doing the right thing, or probably they are not getting the right orientation. Probably in terms of the application, or probably the preparation and all like that. For me, I believe that if you're actually giving your best and yeah, you you pray. So prayer is also part of it. Prayer is very 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 important. You cannot the importance of prayer cannot actually be over emphasized. So because most of the time, scholarship is actually grace. It's just like ah, okay. You might not even expect that you should actually get scholarship, and at the end of the day, you get it. So, yeah, you should not leave prayer out of everything. You should pray, work hard, and uh, prepare yourself. So, yeah, thank you very much for having me on this space tonight. Uh, I really appreciate it.